Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now I thought I would do a video on this, but I'm pretty sure that there are like thousands or hundreds of videos on this already. And this video will be on the limited edition BoxyCharm box. Now this went on sale, I believe the beginning of November. It was supposed to ship November 20th. I just got it now and it's December 5th. It took forever and a day. Um, they had a lot of problems with the website because it was limited edition. A lot of people couldn't get their hands on it. The website was freezing, was crashing. It was just hell on earth. I didn't even know that they were releasing a limited edition box till I got an email. I was like, oh, I should jump on that. Now this retail for 45, I believe $45. And it has a value of $212. Now I'm going to give you my thoughts. I did use all the products today. That's what I have on my face. Some I really love. Some I'm just like really that price tag. And some products I'm legitimately shaking my head because I know for sure I would never have purchased them on my own. Because I feel like I have cheaper alternatives that would work better than what they provided. So when you open it up, um, this is what it looks like. Now it has the card and when you turn the card around you have all the products. You have the price tag, you have uh, kind of like a little description of them, and I mean it's cool. And it's a little hashtag called BoxyCharm Limited. So yeah, and when you open it, this is what is inside. So the first thing that I want to bring your, your guys' attention to is the Ofra Advanced Vitamin C Cream. Now this is one fluid ounce and it retails for $50. So this right here is more than the value of the box, but I can tell you, I thought that this was a sample size, guys. I'm not, I'm really not going to lie and I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I thought this was a sample size. I didn't believe that this was full size. I went on the Ofra website before I started filming and lo and behold, this is actually $50. I don't know what it is that makes it $50 because it's supposed to help to even skin tone and promote healthier and younger skin. You can buy vitamin C at Family Dollar. You can buy vitamin C on Amazon. Like, I just feel like this, I, I don't know. I think that this may be gimmicky because $50 is a lot of money. And I have no problem spending a lot of money on skincare, but I just think $50 is way overpriced. But they did include it in the box, so I'm going to try it. And I'm going to see if it's all that and a bag of chips because, honestly, I just, I, I don't know. I just feel like, leave a comment down below if you think that $50 for this is a bit overpriced because that's just my feelings on it. I, I just think it's a little bit overpriced. The next item in the box that really grabbed my attention was the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. Everyone's been talking about them since they launched. They're like metallic highlights. I just couldn't see myself forking over $42 for a liquid highlighter. I prefer powders. My favorite is the Over Rodeo Drive highlighter. Um, but the shade Blossom is okay. It's not my favorite one. The one that I really want to get that I've been putting off. I don't know why, but I really want it. It's the halo one that one's like a blue iridescent it's just so beautiful it's so stunning it's definitely not an everyday one at least that shade but it's it's beautiful i think that would be worth my money for the 42 dollars because it's something that i don't own in my collection already or can't get anywhere else but this is nice i put it underneath my foundation i put it on top it doesn't give me that much of an intense glow i don't know what everyone's saying it's like oh my god it's so beautiful it's so blinding it's so this maybe it's just a shade that it doesn't do that but it was alright. I don't really like it underneath my foundation. I feel like it emphasized texture and I, I honestly didn't really like it. But um, I like the product in, in and of itself and I will continue to play around with it. The next item in the box that caught my attention was the Becca First Light Priming Filter. This retails for $18 and what's funny is that I actually vlogged me opening up a Sephora box. I had purchased a set that had the backlight priming filter and this one and lo and behold it's in this box I forgot I totally got this box but I mean it's alright it hasn't blown me away I'm gonna have to definitely play with it a little bit more but I I like the backlight priming filter a little bit more than this one so it, it's I'm still teetering on whether I like it or not and if it's worth the actual money so the item in the box that I actually really like, that I'm shocked that I really like, is the Pure Big Look Mascara. I'm actually not wearing falsies now because I really like how the mascara like made my lashes like super long. It doesn't give you like a lot of volume, so if you don't have a lot of lashes, maybe you want to go in with like a volumizing mascara with this. But if you want really long lashes, it does that. It's the wand. I don't know what they put in this, but it's amazing this retails for $21 which is really pricey for mascara I actually never purchase mascaras anymore because 
my subscription boxes give me mascara like every month or every other month so i have so many mascaras that i actually don't purchase them anymore but this is a really good mascara and i'm glad that they and i'm glad that they included this in the box because i would have never thought to pick this up on my own or even give it a chance because like i said i don't i just don't purchase mascaras anymore and i would have missed out on an amazing mascara so the most inexpensive item in the box is actually this makeup geek spectrum eyeliner pencil um it's in the shade plumeria it's what i have on my lower lash line it's like this purpley wine color it's really nice it's just your regular eye pencil. I don't know if it's going to be like my Marc Jacobs gel liners. Those are my favorite ones because they stay in my waterline. Because I got I got watery eyelids. <laughs> and they just don't last. But I'll definitely be playing with this a little bit more. Maybe doing kind of like a purpley, like a soft purpley smoky eye for the holidays. Because pur purples and cranberries are amazing for the holiday season. But I'm excited to try this. I always wanted to get them since they came out, but I just never purchased them. Because I always do, like, the most randomest makeup geek purchases of all time. Like, I'll just buy something and then I won't buy for them for a very long time. And it's not that I don't love their products. I love their eyeshadows. I love their contour powders. But I just don't... I just... I have this weird thing where I just don't purchase them for that often. I don't know. That's just me. This box also provided a lip gloss. And it is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Buttercream Lip Gloss in the shade cosmic it's what i have on my lips right now so for this one i don't know how i feel about it i feel like in the tube it looks a lot better than on my lips just because i think of my i, I think it just doesn't look well on my skin tone i could be wrong but that's it's just not a color i would gravitate towards it has like a chemically smell and it, it kind of gets in your mouth and it's just it's disgusting it's a very like chunky like gloss i i don't know i I like I have to play with this a little bit more because first impressions it's too chunky it has a weird smell it's it's not sticky but I feel like I couldn't get an even coat it was really patchy it was really streaky because it would like settle in one place and then when you try to move it out it would just pull it, it just I don't know what it is I really like the applicator but the, the scent and everything else is just really throwing me off and I don't know I don't know I have to play with it a little bit more guys because I, I just honestly I'm <laughs> I may be the only person who is really excited for this product because I've been wanting to try these for like, God, how many years? Over five years, I never bit the bullet because every time I wanted to go buy it, it was I always felt it was too expensive. I've also said on my channel several times that buying these certain items gives me anxiety because I don't know if they're good or not, if they're going to break, if they're amazing quality. And the item that I'm talking about is the Sigma brush that they included in the bag. Now this retails for $16 and the brush that they included is the E45 Small Tapered Blending Brush. This is one of the most notorious Sigma brushes that's been on YouTube for so many years. I've always wanted to get this brush. All the gurus that I was watching at the time were talking about this brush and I just, I just never bit the bullet. I've always wanted to try Sigma and I never was just like, no, $16 for a brush is way too expensive. And people have told me left and right that Sigma brushes are really amazing and I finally jumped on the bandwagon. It definitely gives me kind of like vibes that I need to buy more Sigma brushes, but I may just wait till I'm out to New York to do that so that I have some percentage off. But if you have favorite Sigma brushes, leave in the comments down below which ones you like and so that i can look into them and purchase them because i'd really like to try more sigma brushes and the last item in the box is this limited edition miracles of the amazon eye and cheek palette from chart and it retails for 38 dollars now you get six eyeshadows and a blush i love their blushes and to be honest like their blushes are high up there so you're basically getting the, bl the blush and a couple of eyeshadows for free I love the packaging. I think it's something I always love Tarte packaging. You know, you get a big old mirror. You get a little thing with the shades on it. Now, in my honest opinion, if you are a makeup hoarder, I don't think that you need to go out and purchase this palette. You get basically uh, your cool side and your warm side. And you get a blush. The blush is amazing, but you can always buy the blush separately. You really can't do detailed looks with this. Like I felt like I had to use a blush as a transition color because I didn't want to go in with the cooler tones. I feel like I have other palettes that are more inexpensive than this that I could 
do my eye looks with. It's a cool holiday set, so if you have like a teenager who doesn't have that many eyeshadow palettes and they're like 14, 15, 16, this would be a great palette because you can't really go like that crazy with this palette. It, it's really uh, like your everyday basics palette. If you are a seasoned vet, I don't think you need this. I don't think you want this. I feel like you're going to think this is a waste of your money. Don't get me wrong. And it's, it, it is amazing quality. It is an amazing product. You get a big mirror. You get six eyeshadows. It's what I have on my eyelids today. But I don't think... I think that there are other more inexpensive palettes that you can get. That including like the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Any Morphe palette to be honest. You can get a BH palette for a lot less than this you can get the 120 BH for a lot less than this and you have colors and transitions up like you have it all with those palettes so I don't think that this one is a necessity I just think that if you want to give a, a teenager or somebody who doesn't play makeup an eyeshadow palette with the blush in it by all means get it I just honestly don't think it's worth the $38 it is a great pop guys don't don't read me <laughs> in the comments saying oh my god it's such a great palette you're hating I, I don't, I'm not disputing that at all. I just don't think that if you have a lot of makeup, if you have a lot of palettes, this is something that you would want to go out on your own and purchase. Like, I don't think it's worth $38 of your own money. Since it came in the box, obviously, I'm going to use it. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to play with it. But I don't think I would have personally went out and spent $38 on this palette. That's just my opinion. Everyone's different. I just think that their other palettes are cheaper and I don't really like these palettes that have blushes in them. I don't see the purpose. I I want to keep my blushes separate from my eyeshadows. I don't want to mix them. So that's just my opinion. Overall, I thought it was an, I thought it was a good limited edition box. Some items I like a lot more than others. Leave a comment down below. Did you get it? Did you like it? What do you think about the products? Do you think they could do better next time? What would you want to see? I'm actually really happy with this box because they branch out on brands that they've never used, like Sigma. I've never seen Sigma in the boxes. So I'm really excited to try these products a little bit more. Don't forget to give this video a like. That would really help me out. Don't forget to follow me on my social media, my Snapchat, my Instagram, and Twitter. Talk to me, sign up in those DMs. I want to hear from you guys. I will leave those handles down below. As always, guys, I hope you truly enjoyed the video, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.